Hey everybody! I'm at it again. I'm making another video. Um, so I'm just picking topics and I'm just gonna channel and we'll just see what happens, okay? I have a topic and um, so I was asked to talk about Nibiru um, and then concerns that about um, this sort of... I don't know anything about Nibiru. I don't have a clue anything about Nibiru, but um, there was concerns about it um, being sort of a planet that it would um, crash into us at some point. And so um, I, I agreed to channel wisdom um, related to this question. I have absolutely no... Um, prior knowledge, um, as Abby, uh, don't have a clue about this, and so I'm just gonna see what type of wisdom comes to me, okay? And, um, and so we'll just go from there, alright? So if you have interest in Nibiru, we'll just see what I can, um, what I can connect with, um, from higher realms. So, okay, so, um sort of out of my element because I'm talking about something that have, I have absolutely no human sort of um, education on it at all. Um, so I, I feel right now like my confidence level is like really small and um, so I'm telling you these things because I'm a human being too and although I um, am aware that I do interact with sort of higher realms of, um, of awareness, um, I'm still a human being, okay? So, um, okay, so I'm gonna relax and I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, so, okay. <laughs> this is me coming into my element, okay? Just gotta talk and then I go there. Alright, so I'm asking, so I'm asking Universe for higher awareness related to this question related to Nibiru and I ask for spirits of a higher wisdom, um, share wisdom with me that, uh, let me sh share with others related to so, okay. So this time they're saying, we're gonna share pictures with you. So, cat woman, it's a woman that is a cat person. Um, okay. I'm gonna go through the pictures that come to my mind and I'll just tell you what comes. And then um, we'll just try to put the pieces of the puzzle together, okay? So there's literally a woman, and um, she's a skinnier sort of cat woman, and then has a very long sort of neck. And every sort of aspect of her body is sort of like a seductive sort of curvature, and um, sort of uh, curvy um, lines for a curvy like neckline. And her face is quite, um, it's not like, it's more smushed, um, but um, sleek. It's like a sleek um, sort of face, a high, ch really high cheekbones. Um, she has dark um, complexion and um, stands on uh, upright. Has a tail. Um, <laughs> I'm hearing sort of um, what is the sound of her expression, and um, I just think of like Siamese cats or something. Um, sort of with the, um, just the way cats are. I don't know how you describe what are cats like. They're just sort of like dancers, you know, um, but sort of seductive dancers in the way that they move, you know. They're not, um, they're trying to seduce you with their movements in a way where they want you to pet them and then they don't want you, that they're just like too good for your petting or something. <laughs> cats are strange like that. It's their catty way. And that's, that's the way she is right now. She's, I am speaking wisdom. Um, this is wisdom coming from me. Uh, she keeps showing me what is a red jewel. Um, it is not associated with the picture of her that I see. Um, but what is also somehow associated with her is like a red jewel on her third eye. And she's got, her face is, is like, um, almost like a diamond shape, you know, but so straight and then kind of down and then like this. So if I were to draw her, I would, I would try and take that shape, um, but her face is, uh, she look, looks literally like a cat and she has ears. Um, she does not have long hair, it's just cat, just the length of a short-haired cat hair or something. Um, oh, everything is changing. So the cat is now in the window, um, just a regular old house cat. 
not even looking at me, but looking out the window and looking into the sky, and everything through the window is very bright. Um, the window is open, they say. Um, the cat sees through the window what is the wisdom and awareness of all. Um, the cat looks for wisdom when it looks out the window. And it tries to find what is some, some form of wisdom, is what they're saying. It's really associated with this. Um, they're helping me to try to see the wisdom that is, is the wisdom I'm to share. Is this is what this is all related to. It's literally a, um, a simulation to help me align. So, this is very strange. Sort of relaxing now. The cat, I'm, I'm becoming one with this cat now. My soul literally is like an orb of light that is gravitating into the mind of a cat. <laughs> that is looking out the window. What does it see? It is looking into the space. So they say, slow down, Abby, you're going too fast. So I'm going to stop and relax, okay? What is, okay. I'm letting pictures follow, flow through my mind, okay? And then I'll just describe what comes. I'm just watching a television right now. I'm just watching TV right now in my mind. There's too many images and too, it's going too fast for me. It was all whispered, and I couldn't hear a word they were saying. Has to do um, with uh, an alignment of um, what literally is like balls of starlight, stars that are all becoming in alignment. Like let's just say nine stars, and some of them aren't as bright as the others. And there's some very bright ones, and they're all sort of in a line like this. And then they show me the stars, and then um, they turn the stars into um, pool balls. And then they take a pool cue, and then shoot, and then all the balls go into the hole. And I see what is draconian people with the the ones that wear this cape or whatever they they I've seen a brown cape, and this one is wearing a red one um, with the hood. I don't know why they wear these things, um, but his skin is not green. His skin is more like a brownish color with a red um, hood. Hood, and then what is this cat woman with the black fur? And then she wears a red, also some sort of red cape. Um, gravitating toward information related to this, and it is Nibiru. And then what is pool cues and hitting? Is the sensation. Walk away from your fears of destruction. Walk away from your fears of destruction. What do you see from beyond it? What do you see out there from the stars? What do you see through the third eye of what is the cat? Who, who lives among this planet? Do you know who lives here? You have lived here before. You have been one with us before. You've seen us before in other times and places. You know of our interactions like pool balls hitting each other and then going into the hole, which is winning, right? It is um, a successful um, gravitational pull of wisdom coming to you from our planet. The, they're talking about wisdom coming to us from this planet. Not the not in the way that is going to destroy us, but actually going to um, share light or healing or something positive. What is seen as destroy is now actually a voice of a positive um, voice. This is real. This is absolutely real. And um, what is sort of like a um, every so what feels like thousands of years or something um super rotation uh so so a planet let's just say a planet okay so here's earth right 
And then we have this like planet out here and it's sort of winging around. And what we see is two lines, so Earth or Earth going around in its curvature and then this planet coming really close to Earth, right? And then um, a friction. Because uh, they come really close together and then they um, want to touch each other. So, so what is this about then? There's, this is definitely related to cat people. Absolutely related to cat people. Coming close, th this is interesting. This has, they, this has absolutely nothing to do with destruction. What is fear of the, of the planets? Uh, they call it embracing. Um, planetary embrace. And um, our planet comes to your planet out of love. What is the gravitation of love to your planet? Um, to touch uh, your planet in love and oneness. There's nothing related to f anything about cal ca calamity or boom or um, like it's it's an alignment and the alignment um, hits into the pocket and everyone wins is what this is. You look to the stars for wisdom. You you see wisdom. You find wisdom. Still being the cat in the window looking for wisdom, higher wisdom. So this this is a warm and loving embrace is the best way I can describe this. There's not no nothing. They're talking about um what is Earth right now? And human beings are sort of going through their own friction of um, what is p human beings who are looking for this awareness right now. Human beings who need to know more. Um, human beings who want who want to talk about awakening and want to have awareness about alien beings. Human beings of this kind want gravitate towards wisdom um, and want to know about the stars. They want to know about the planets. They want to know how the how about human history? They want to know about Egypt. Egypt. They want to know about these interactions. This is um, the bureau in Egypt. Totally um, an association. So hardcore. Um, sort of. Um, kin. Uh, we don't look like cat people. We don't. Um, but they're saying kin. Kinship is what they're saying. There's kinship between us. Relationships between Earth and Nibiru. Um, it has nothing to do with destruction and has absolutely everything to do with coming close together in love and embrace. This is not fear, a fearful thing at all. Um, and human beings need to know everything is safe right now. That there is no calamity or destruction or Earth is not going to destroy itself. These are not, that is not the truth. That is um, not the truth at all. This is not the truth, they say. Um, this is not, um, I'm like double checking and rechecking to make sure I got this right, okay? And there's nothing coming back and nothing pulling me away from what is, feels like so much love. Love hugging me, love caressing me, love filling me with, um, just joy. And, and even, um, a warm, a warm, like, uh, attraction to this planet, a warm, loving attraction. What is um, the planet has a heartbeat, and then the heartbeat is also in my chest, and my chest is beating, and is so much love, and and is connected. And so this is the only way I can describe what is the feeling of love that I'm getting from this whole thing. Um, now I'm going to go. So now I'm going to Nibiru, I guess. Okay, they don't. The, the healthy, heal, heal, super healthy, super um, beautiful, uh, what is green, and everything is healed. It has nothing to do with death or annihilation. That is what they're showing me. There's nothing with Nibiru having to do with death or annihilation. There's nothing to do with it. Um, this is correct, some sort of odd, uh, this rotation thing, and um, there is concern about the planets hitting. Um, but they come very close together, and um, th it literally is like love. That is the only way I can describe it. When this happens, it is um, a, c a celebration. It is c a celebration of love. That is what they say. Um, so love. Um, th this has nothing to do with fear. I can't, I can't, I'm waiting for the next thing. They just keep beaming me full of love, and they won't stop. <laughs> so, healing earth, healing humans, healing plants, healing life, um, mysteries of the universe, 
Um, so what is in a cat-like way, which is sort of seductive, but um, love, very loving. Um, not terror, not um, annihilation, not destruction. That is old. That is not the new. Um, say, says, um, oh, so you saw a draconian, right? Then you didn't see draconian in the cape. Instead, you saw cat in the cape. Draconian du is done. They, th this has everything to do with with now who is now who is the one um, who sees you. Now who is the one in the cape is is different. Is is it? We are expressions of love. Cat people are are loving people. They're not people who are trying to um, hurt. Are trying to hurt you or control you or um, they, they say control is the right word. We are not control. We do not control you. Um, we uh, just want to. This is my coffee pot beeping at me. I hate when that happens. Okay. <laughs> um, it's distraction. Uh, okay. Totally cat people. Um, let me see what else she has to say. So, I don't know anything about this. I, this is very interesting. I just t did this picture. And, um, it was all gold. The whole thing was entirely gold. And then, um, and then this face sort of started co taking shape. And it wasn't even a very long neck at first. See, that was like the shoulders at first. And then just started, um, the neck was so long. And then, um, what was almost like angelic wings, this whole thing just started morphing. And it was really hard to figure out what the, whatever this was, what it looked like. And now, even now, um, this gold is like so relevant with Egypt, you know what I mean? And then, um, even now, I can't even see this as a person at all, but a cat person. And this is very much so this speaker with this very long sort of neck. And then, but no wings on her, but it's what is like a very um, sort of cat-like sort of body standing upright. And then all this sort of gold, like shiny gold. Um, I can't describe what this feeling is, though. It's very weird. Um, because it's so associated with gold. And, um, I don't, I, you know, it's not about, um, money. It's something, um, it's not about, um, as, of, like, it's not, it's not related to what is our idea of, like, exchange of money or of what is um, rich or so, sort of kingly, but it's, it is also associated with that. I can't understand how to describe the gold. What is their sort of obsession or something with it? The gold or something? I don't know. Let me talk to, let me find, let me see what the, I'm going to stop being human for a minute and then we'll just see what the next pictures are. Um, okay, they're ta so this red, the red jewel I was talking about, red light, beam of red light. Um, what is this about? So I'm going to relax and I'm just going to stop thinking and I'm going to let pictures come. So whatever the next picture is, is what the next picture is. Okay. Okay. So cat feet, cat legs, cat standing on hind legs is really what it is. She's trying to help me understand her figure, I suppose. Um, hmm. I'm going to let the pictures play out and we'll just watch the movie and then I'll describe what happens. I'm just interacting with her right now, and I can't, I, there's no, they're just looking at each other is the only way I can describe it, face to face right now. It's reminding me that I originally had her nose pierced, and I took it off of there. <laughs> they do something weird about metals that they like. Um, what do cats on our planet like? They like shiny things, and they like um, light, beams of light um, that move around, and they like playing with things um, that's very much associated with them. Um, this, she not looks human, it looks like a cat. Um, 
What is, um, they love shiny things is the only way I can describe it. Loving shiny things. Um, the door. Adore shiny things. Um, it, it's sort of like, um, that is how they express themselves. They're, that That is beauty to them. That They love to be sort of, indo uh, um, have a lot of shiny things on them. That, that's their form of beauty. It's like a woman wearing a beautiful necklace or beautiful earrings and sort of this behavior even was associated with cat people. Human beings were really earthy, they say, when we um, came. Very earthy. Um, we we, lo we love um, gold. We like shiny things. And we loved um, to share this sort of, um, to create what is... Egypt is so into like beauty, beautifying through like um, natural, like mineral, like gold and um, sort of uh, the the head, the headwear or the necklaces and the armbands and um, gold and shiny, and that really comes from them. And that that is Nibiru, I guess. That that is that is my relationship with this. This is what they say. She, there's more than her, there's another, a male sort of version, um, all, much not um, so, uh, sedu not the seductive sort of female curvature, but um, more like a, um, what is um, a stronger sort of peer appearance, what would be like a jaguar um, standing upright, more of a squared face, um, not the, like, more just all, all I can say is boxier, so like it's more of a squared sort of and longer, longer lines, and not the curvier lines like the female. Um, her face was sort of like very thin, a skinny cat kind of thing, um, but um, sort of wide triangle like this, wider. His is more straight, um, doesn't come out as wide, so straighter like a jaguar standing upright or something. Um, and he's black as well. He's got this black fur. Um, so they're, ta they're talking about relationships right now. Relationships and the way that they have relationships with each other. They're very, um, grounded and aligned with their expression and what is, um, what their, what is their natural instincts of what they adore and what they love, um, how they love each other even. Um, and it is all very cat-like, um, even how, like, how you would watch a cat move and how you interact even with cats is their personality is very much like this. Um, very, just, I don't know how to describe that. How do you describe that personality? I have no freaking clue. Um, so, man, Jaguar man, um, and this sort of princess woman, feline cat, female cat woman, um, embracing hands, or like, standing upright, sharing sort of love, and gazing into each other's eyes, um, and then wearing a crown, even, each wearing a crown, um, because they're all, they're all princesses, they're all queens, they're all, um, uh, they're all sort of this sort of royal, um, bloodline, it's the only way you can describe it. Royal bloodline is the only way you can describe it. Um, this red jewel is still there and the light is still shining and I've seen this, the, I didn't talk about the other time I saw it, I was sort of, um, watching the video, but that too, that was what helped me understand what their um, attraction is to sort of shiny things. As I saw this red beaming light moving and then the cat chasing it. And then, then they helped me understand what their relationship is with gold. Um, but it is very, very loving, um, bonded uh, couple. is when we could describe him and her. And sort of loving um, connection through their eyes. And then also royal bloodline because they have this sort of crown um, and just sort of standing very tall and, and like, like um, you know when you have a lot of confidence you stand really up and you're not really hunched over and just don't, don't look at me. You're actually standing like in a way that is open um, to everyone to see. This has everything to do with Nibiru. This has everything to do with it. And they, they're showing me how they're gazing into each other's eyes in love. And they see no, no concerns about 
there's not a, se a single drop of fear or worry about. D they're like Earth. It, there's fear here that we're going to smash into Earth, but wouldn't there be fear on our planet that we're going to smash into Earth? There's no fear at all. They, there's absolutely no relationship with fear or with destruction. Um, they're co just totally absorbed into love and their cat ways and um, have no relationship with, um, with what is hurting Earth, what is hurting human beings, what is an annihilation of both of our species. They say if both of our planets together we're all dead you know that that isn't what it that is not what happens here <laughs> this is even catty you know um just two balls um coming very close but not touching entirely um what is sort of um seducing each other <laughs> they're so weird um they they sort of like to tease each other in this odd way um sort of talking about Earth um, and talking about Nibiru and then um, they come so close but they won't touch and um, that is very seductive. <laughs> that is very aligned with their sort of odd way of their personality is like very seductive like to tease each other um, you know make it make it a look like it it's gonna touch but then it doesn't it drives it's like sort of like an exciting thing or something. Um, their personality is so, so funny, um, different, uh, sort of like constantly playing mind games or teasing each other like this, like cats do, you know? Um, I'm talking to them about, well, what, how, where are you from, or how were you created, or what are your, um, okay, so just to wrap around, this Nibiru is, um, there's nothing related that I am experiencing related to any concern that Nibiru and Earth are going to collide. In fact, what the message is is entirely loving and entirely related to cat people. Um, what is cats? Um, and <laughs> cats are very, um, they're in their own little cat world and they're totally in love with and in harmony and balance with their planet and with each other and exactly associated with who and what they are. And they, um, they, they're sort of like, Earth would be like their shiny metal, where there's like a curiosity, and there's nothing, they have no need to be a controlling, um, species, or a, um, there's nothing related to that, it's more so curiosity. What is like playing with your cat with a little red beam of light and it's chasing it around, and it's actually just curiosity and, um, not trying to control anybody, it has nothing to do with that totally associated with Egypt and um, totally associated with what is um, they love they want to share um, what is their culture or their style or what is that their them um, they want to share that with human beings and there's no relationship with terror or fear or um, a need to change us or a need to they, they aren't even really interested in trying to um, understand our species is really the relationship they just they just are they just curious and want to share what they are and then um, it's not there's nothing um, related to them sort of trying to own us or anything um, what is so this actually the timing with this um, is correct and trying to make sense of is this supposed to happen soon or what is this um, what, what is the light that you shine on this um, subject cat woman <laughs> Uh, so, she is now wearing a golden headdress, so, she is no hair, actual hair, this sort of, some sort of golden, um, hat or something that she wears over her head, and, um, to give, it's, it's just a crown of gold is what this is, and, um, so, she is sort of Egypt, she's taking me to Egypt, um, black, Black, this this has everything to do with Egypt. What is um so what is completely so like you see a black face and then you see what is gold around it and isn't that like um, King Tut's um, like burial tomb or something? That this is very much associated with this black sort of color and then gold. I don't know what they're obsessed with like black and gold. Um, they love that. They love um, what is the sensation of royalty or higher bloodlines. They love what is the association with um, a higher vibration of like sort of 
But they're not, they don't have any ego to them. That's just the thing. They aren't obsessed with who is ruling over anybody. They're just, they just love um, that uh, vibration, but they aren't egotistical. They have no ego about it. Everybody holds that sort of caliber. Um, let me see. I just say step onto planet and um, and share when the time is right. That's all, all I can make sense of. Step onto planet and share when the time is right. Literally, actually seeing a cat step on, from one planet to another planet. Obviously, it's not going to work that way, but that is how, how my brain is making sense of the pictures. One cat steps onto our planet, and then there's no association with needing to change or inspire or alter anybody here. It is just, um, here, this is what we look like, this is where we live, um, this is what we like, um, and then you do whatever you want with that. <laughs> that, is what the, that is what that is. But they do love Egypt. They have some sort of strange fascination or obsession with, I don't know, that location or the pyramids. Um, the pyramids were built some for some reason in association with them, the, the pyramids and everything in Egypt is like totally related to Nibiru. Um, I don't know how they beam informate. I don't know. I don't understand it. Um, this is big though. This is so big. They visit even Egypt. Even right now they have cat people that go and hang out in, in Egypt. Um, even today. Even today they go there. But um, <laughs> How do you, like, hide from people? How come nobody knows about you? Um, this is too much. I'm getting exhausted. I actually am. Um, this is a very slow conversation. I don't feel like, I don't even know if I'm getting enough of the facts. You know what I mean? Um, so I, I'm, like, impatient, I guess. And I'm trying to get more concrete answers. But it takes time because of how I develop, um, share wisdom. I have to go through a series of pictures and then share the images as they come to me. And then my relationship with the way they feel or they make me feel. And so that's how I share the wisdom. And, um, so, so, so... I'm going to do one more picture, and then I've got to stop, because I'm exhausted. But what she's doing is she's sort of cleaning herself, just like a cat would. Um, telling you to hand right now. Um, this beaming sensation of, like, they love cleanliness. Um, like, obsessively um, love to be feel clean and be clean. Um... <laughs> obsessed with um, with licking this act of licking and cleaning their fur and lick the actual sensation of licking fur is like a sort of erotic to them <laughs> it's weird um, but they're happy and um, in love with uh, they have no they don't have a relationship with thinking otherwise human beings have to think from the dark, and they think um, in the dark, and they think in the light too. So they don't. Case cat people don't um, don't question what what feels good to them, or why they act the way they do, or what what they love about shiny things. They they are just in oneness with whatever it is that they are. They just they just are um, aligned with that. They don't question what they love and um, what they are in, in that way, like we do. We're obsessed with having to comprehend things, and they have no obsession with that at all. They, they're they obsessed with just their seductive, um, sort of teasing sort of way, and cleanliness, and shiny things, and, um, and that is it. There's nothing to fear. This like, love and seduction. <laughs> we, it's very clear that they, they're, they're not going to, um, sort of like, we aren't hiding, and we are in the open for you to see us. And you, you, this Nibiru thing is concerning to you, it does not concern us. Um, that's all, I can't say any more on this, I'm just exhausted. That's just too much of a, it's too much trying to f understand something. Um, and then override being human about it. Because I don't even know what I'm talking about, you know what I mean? So I'm just... 
just gathering whatever pictures um, I get associated with this and then sharing it. And then um, you get to decide what you want to believe. If you follow it or if you don't follow it, um, it's just some, um, some thing, you know what I mean? I'm not here saying I'm an expert on Nibiru. I don't know anything about Nibiru. I'm just somebody who's um, choosing to use a channeled connection and see what happens. So I'm just testing it out and see what happens. So that is all I have for this video today. Um, so thank you for watching.